Anybody can be Christians and sing songs when the sun is shining. It doesn't take much faith to give God glory when all your bills are paid. You don't have to be real strong to shout hallelujah when everything is well in your life. But when the bottom falls out, when sickness comes, when difficulties, tough times, hard days, long nights, it is then that your faith kicks in to let you know that he's a very present help in the time of trouble. This word is for somebody going through tough times. For somebody struggling just to keep your head above water. You're smiling just to keep from crying. You're doing the best you can, but you put one foot forward and two steps are made backwards. You're trying, but things don't seem to be quite working out the way you planned. You thought you'd be in a different place at this season in your life. And it looks like you've been praying and calling on the Lord and you're doing everything right, but you're still suffering. I've got some good news for you. He'll show up. Yes, he will. He will come through. And just because he hasn't come through already, does not mean he's not coming through at all. The Lord will make a way. God will get us out in his timing. Anybody here ever been through a trial? And for a moment it looked like it would never end. But now that you're on the other side of it, you have surrendered yourself to the mighty hand of God. God, my will is your will. My ways are your ways. My desires are your desires. Whatever you want me to do, I give up. I surrender. You can have my life. Take it and make it what you want it to be. And whenever you give up struggling, God will always bless you. Sometimes God got to take you all the way down before he can bring you back up again. Sometimes God got to take from you what you think you can't get along without to let you know he was there all the time. Sometimes you got to hit rock bottom before you find out who is the rock at the bottom. Expect things to get better for you because they are. See, life is cyclic. You're not, what is, whatever experience you're having right now, it has not come to stay. It has come to pass. Not to stay, just to pass. It's just going through. The biggest challenge is, is to know what's happening. This is a part of this thing we call life. This too shall pass. And maintaining perspective, putting it in perspective. See, a lot of us, because of our limited vision of ourselves, a lot of us who begin to focus on problems and enable them to overwhelm us, we begin to think that we have no options. We begin to believe that there's no way out. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. And all of these things that are happening to me right now, they're just temporary inconveniences. God is going to bring us through this season. God's going to get us through this. So this season will end. We're just in a season right now. It's going to pass. God has the wisdom and God's going to give us that wisdom. It's pretty easy sometimes to, to feel beaten. That doesn't mean give up. In fact, it means the opposite. It means it's time for you to fight harder. And I'm going to tell you right now, it won't be easy. It will be hard because life is hard. That's what life is. And these challenges, these challenges that you face, they're going to do their best to take you down. Do not let them. Stand up. Dig in. Line up those problems and confront them. Face them. Fight them. Do not let them bring you down. In fact, in fact, let 
those challenges raise you up. Let them elevate you. Let their demands and their trials make you stronger. Let the adversity you face today turn you into a better person tomorrow. So, so in the future, you look back at these struggles and you say to them, thank you. You made me better. Stop wasting today's strength fighting tomorrow's battles. And God says, give me my job back. God's job is tomorrow. Your job is today. Give us this day our daily bread. What am I going to do today? I'm going to set aside some time and listen to the word of God. This day. I'm so glad I'm not God. I'm so glad that, that, that I, don't have to, I don't have to figure it all out. I'm so glad I've got a God who has gone before me. I'm so glad I have a Father. If I did not have to run around like the pagans, what am I going to eat? What am I going to drink? What am I going to wear? Jesus says, stop worrying about what God is already working on. Tomorrow is God's job. Tomorrow is God's job. So here's what we have to do. We have to trust God with tomorrow's problems and embrace today's process. But God promised me the grace for today and the hope for tomorrow. Even in the darkest moments, even in the darkest days, choose faith over fear. We believe today that the spirit of fear is loose in our nation and around the world. And he wants to do everything that it can to get us to worry, to feel anxious, to feel stressed out, to feel as though everything's over and we're coming to an end. We're not coming to an end. Don't let worry make you go into just panic. Jesus said, I am with you in your home. I am where you are. I know your address. I know all about you. I have not forgotten about you. I am with you. No matter what comes our way, our first reaction should be faith that overcomes the fear. Choose faith over fear. Choose faith over panic and over being petrified. We will survive. We're more than conquerors through Christ. No weapon formed against us will prosper. And then he said that nothing can separate us from the love of God. We're being dominated right now in our culture, in our, in our culture by fear. We need to go from fear-based living to faith-based living. Fear wants to cause us to go into denial, to not deal with the issues. Listen to this. Face the problem, but focus on God. Choose faith over fear. God delights, listen, in courageous people. In people who are strong and courageous, who when they face challenges, they don't buckle and they don't fear and they don't fall. When, when we're going through something, the goal isn't just to get through it. The goal is for God to show us something in it that will make us better on the other side. Let's not be fearful. After all, we always have the Savior who loves us, for you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. You know enough about God to get you through this valley. We talk about going through, I know I'm going to get through this. And I don't say that in a callous way or a cliche way. I'm saying the Lord is my shepherd. I know that. He's my guide. I know that. Stop living by sight and start living by faith.